G'day, welcome to the Tech Math Channel. I want to start this video out by asking you a question. How fast can you add the following numbers? 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus 5 plus 6 plus 7 plus 8 plus 9 plus 10. That's right. Can you add the numbers 1 through to 10? I'm going to give you 4 seconds. Okay, hopefully the answer you got was 55. If you didn't, that's okay. What we'll do is we'll have a look at how you can go through and solve this particular question pretty much instantly. It's a really, really great little trick we're going to be having a look at for adding these sorts of series of numbers. Okay, so the three steps that we do when we're doing this. The first one is we're going to add the first and the last number. Okay, first and last number add up to 11. Then we get this number and we divide it by 2. We average it out, so we divide it by 2. Okay, there's two terms, so dividing it by 2 gives us the answer of 5 and a half, 5.5. And finally what we do is we multiply it by the number of terms here, the number of numbers. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Times our answer by 10, we get the answer of 55. So 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus 5 plus 6 plus 7 plus 8 plus 9 plus 10 is equal to 55. And as you see, there was not any addition there at all. Well, at the start there was 1 plus 10. That was our my sum amount of addition. Okay, But then we just used a few little tricks to sort this out. So this is a really, really great little trick um, just for adding these sorts of numbers together really, really quickly. Um, so what about we go the next step up? We've done the numbers 1 to 10. Let's add the numbers 1 through 1 plus 2 plus 3 all the way through to 100. Hey, do you reckon you can do that? i tell you what, let's give it a go. So, remember the steps here. We add the first and the last number here. We're going to get an average of these numbers. So 1 plus 100 is 101. And then to get that average, we're dividing by 2. Okay, so that's the first two steps there. Uh, we're going to get 50.5 there. Yeah? How are you going so far, all right? All right, now, how many numbers from 1 to 100? Well, I reckon if you counted them all up, you may be surprised to realise there's actually 100 numbers there. Okay, so we're going to times our answer by 100. Okay, so 50.5 times 100, we're going to move the decimal place one, two times. Our answer is 5,050. <laughs> So 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4, all the way to 100, is 5,050. I'll tell you what, it's a great little one to race your mates with, and you could do something like say, OK, we see who could add the numbers 1 to 100 the fastest. I'll tell you what, you can use a calculator, or I won't, and see how you go. <laughs> all right, what about just one last one of these? And what about, say, something a little bit harder now? Say so we did something like uh, the numbers... Let's start with 20, and I'm going to add the, all the numbers, 20, 21, 22, 23, da 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 all the way through to 35. Okay, now watch with this, and I've chosen this one particularly because it does show a couple of little things just to watch out for when you are adding these. Okay, in fact, I'm going to go a step further. I'm actually going to write all these numbers down, 20 plus 21 plus 22, plus 23, plus 24, plus 25, plus 26, plus 27, uh, plus 28, plus 29, plus 30, plus 31, plus 32, plus 33, plus 34, plus 35. Hooray! Okay. We're going to add all these together. So first off, we add the first and the last numbers together. 35, 35, that's over here, plus 20. The answer to that is 55. And we're going to get the average of these two, so we're dividing it by 2. Okay, it's 55 divided by 2 equals 27 and a half. Okay, now we're going to multiply this by the number of numbers here. Now you might automatically look at that and say 15. However, be very careful here. It's actually 16. Because if we were, what we're used to is we're used to going 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, point 15. There's 15 numbers there. But we're starting from the ones number. But we have this number here also. So there's actually 16 numbers here. 
okay and you can count them and you may agree with me then but there's 16 numbers so just be very very aware of this so 27 and a half times 16 well if I was trying to do this in my head I would do the following I would double this answer and I would halve this answer so if I doubled this answer I'd get 55 times 8 and then to make that even easier I might even double this again and get 110 times 4 the answer to this is 440 <laughs> okay now just before I let you escape and you can escape now if you wish but I just want to quickly tell you why this works okay and it's not a very uh, difficult idea to get behind once you uh, understand it. it's a really good one to get so say I consider the numbers 1 through to 10 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus 5 plus 6 plus 7 plus 8 plus 9 and I think the next number after that was 10 yes so if I consider the first and the last number you're going to see the first and the last number here add up to 11 as do the second and the second last number they also add up to 11 8 and 3 wait a second they also add up to 11 7 and 4 add up to 11 6 and 5 also add up to 11 ok so what we're doing essentially when we're doing this trick is we're adding the first and the last number which is 11 okay and we're just getting an average of this okay because all these numbers are going to be averaging up to you know we're, going to, we're basically working up the average of all these numbers okay so to work out the average of the first and the last number we're just going 11 divided by 2 which is 5.5 okay so we're working on an average we're just working on an average of how much each digit is yeah then we're multiplying it by these numbers because if we averaged all these numbers out they'd be 5.5 and then there's 10 lots of them so we're times it by 10 and we're getting the answer of 55 anyway it's a great little trick it's a really good trick for uh, playing tricks on people and, and showing them how brilliant at maths you are it's not a trick at all uh, in terms of that it is actually a, you know it's a good little technique for doing such a thing okay and if you do this sort of stuff you do it does add to your actually mathematical abilities so maybe not a trick at all maybe just a skill anyway thanks for watching this video hope you enjoy that little uh, method of adding numbers together we'll see you next time bye